PK. I'm a preacher's kid. My father was a police officer too, so I got it from both ends. Um, you know, he uh, he raised us. My mom, and my dad, they raised us to uh, to fear God, and um, it was great. You know, having uh, that balance in the home where uh, you really didn't have anywhere to run. It was uh, it was holiness. You know. He, he trained us to um, to live for God, to love God, and uh, we prayed together, and we ate dinner together, you know, and um, until we got older, where you know, then girls got in the mix and you know, basketball and stuff like that. But uh, for the majority of my life, my father was just there. And one thing I always remember is I would uh, I would come down sometimes in the middle of the night, and he would be in some corner somewhere, just on his knees praying. Um, I saw that. Um, I saw a father that prayed. It would be, I would be going downstairs in the middle of the night, two in the morning to get something to drink. And I would see, hear him over in the corner praying, you know, praying for, uh, praying for his family. And, um, you know, and, and before we would leave uh, to go to church or to go anywhere, you know, we would have family prayer. And so um, I'm grateful to God for uh, the foundation that I had. And my father is a, he loved the word of God, you know, and so whenever I would have a question about the Word of God, I could just go to Dad, you know, and um, and he would he would be there, you know, to just kind of guide us through. So, you know, I, I haven't actually had an opportunity to kind of sit and reflect on um, my my upbringing, but uh, I think part of out of all the interviews that I've done, it's the first time I've actually thought about the fact that yeah, I mean, I had a father and a mother that you know kept me in the Word of God. So that's just a little bit of my story. I gave my life to the Lord when I was really, for sure, 18. You know, I grew up in the church, so, you know, you go down to the altar every Sunday or every time they do an altar calling, but the church wasn't necessarily in me. Um, you know, it was, a, it was kind of a play thing. You know, you, you went to church on Sunday mornings, but you didn't really live for Christ. But uh, it was my senior year of high school. You know, I had um, really been going through quite a bit. Um, you know, just out there living in sin, you know, thinking you knew better than God. And, and it finally got to a point where uh, the Lord said, okay, enough is enough. And I had one of those uh, those moments where God was like, turn or else, you know. And uh, I felt the fear of God. You're like, you know, you Kevin, you need to make a decision. And I did. And uh, that was, what, 14 years ago in September. It would be in, uh, you know, my vice, I say this, my vice was, you know, premarital sex. Um, that was the thing that wasn't drugs, wasn't marijuana, wasn't any drinking. It was sex. But by the grace of God, 14 years, God's kept me. And uh, I share this testimony with a lot of young people and people in general because uh, they, in this sex-driven society, people think it can't be done, but it actually can. You know, so that's just a little bit of my testimony. I don't, you know, I, mean, I could be here all day telling you about... Uh, some of the things that God has, you know, brought me through, you know, and what the Word of God is, not just to, not what it was, but what it is now. And, um, I mean, without the Word of God, I, I think I would have lost my mind a long time ago. I mean, literally, God's Word literally brings peace to my soul now. Um, when I'm going through, it's amazing. I can be going through a stressful time, and then you just get in the Word of God, and God just leads you, and... Um, to what scripture? He, I mean, it's it's funny. I told my pastor, it's like a we have this thing. The spirit of God just it's almost like a I don't know, like a um, like a combination lock or something. Because he just I he just I know what scripture to go to, and it's just like no, it's not. That's the one right there, you know. And it's it's exactly what I need, you know, for that day. Um, without the word of God, I can't. I'm a songwriter. I can't write without the word of God. More than that, I can't live without God's Word. And, um, I mean, it is it is the stabilizer uh, for my life. You know, I can't have faith in God. I can't have faith in a Word that I don't know. You know, and when when, uh, when the enemy comes against your mind or, you know, life's challenges hit you, you got to be able to draw on the Word of God and say, I know what this is saying, but the truth is, you know, I can do all things through Christ. You know, God's Word is true. So. Yeah, man.